We're here at the Chicago Raceway for the sixth race of the Reebok Cup Series Season 2, the Geico 400. Now let's take a look at the starting lineup for the first race of the chase. On row 1, we have the 48 of Jimmy Johnson and the 14 of Tony Stewart. In row 2, we have the 2 of Brad Keselowski and the 11 of Denny Heelan. Starting off in row 3, we have the Joe Gibbs teammates of Kyle Busch and Matt Kenseth. Rolling off today in row 4, we have the 9 of Marco Sambros and the 15 of Clint Boyer. And starting in row 5, we have the 99 of Carl Edwards and the 27 of Paul Menard. Starting in row 6, we have the 16 of Greg Biffle and the 21 of Trevor Bain. Rolling off the field in row 7, we have the 56 of Martin Drex Jr. and the 1 of Jamie McMurray. Starting in row 8, we have the 39 of Ryan Newman and the 5 of Casey Kane. And rounding out the field in row 9, we have the 17 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and the 88 of Dale Earnhardt Jr. So the field's green. coming to the green. We're green flag racing here in Chicago. Kislowski gets a good jump on the inside, and he'll take the lead. Denny Hamlin emerges into second, and he's going to try to make a move on the leader, but he's not going to be able to. Lap 2 underway here in Chicago. Brad Kislowski is the leader now, and we've got a spin already. Martin Truex around and over. Huge crash here in, in Chicago. Let's take another look here. It looks like coming off a of four, he gets hooked by Ambrose. Comes back up the track and gets hit by Boyer and Menard and goes over. We're back underway here on lap four. Now Edwards is going to look under Hamlin for a second, and he's going to take the spot away. The field already three wide as we're coming on to lap five. Hamlin's going to make a move on Edwards for a second, and he's going to take it now. Midway through this race, lap six underway. On board with Carl Edwards now. He looks low, but Hamlin's going to block now. Four laps to go here in Chicago, and Brad Keselowski still the leader, but Hamlin and Edwards closing in. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. having a strong run today with three laps to go. Hamlin closing in. Can he make a move on the two of Brad Keselowski? Two laps to go here in Chicago. Hamlin is there. Greg Biffle has moved up the third on the white flag. Hamlin goes to the outside. He makes the pass. Here comes Keselowski. Oh, and he turns him. Greg Biffle's going to win the Geico 400 at Chicago. A crazy finish to end the Geico 400. Denny Hamlin turn, gets turned by Brad Keselowski, who led the entire race. I'll give Greg Biffle his second win of the season. Carl Edwards comes second in a Roush Fenway Racing 1-2. Hamlin and Keselowski come third and fourth. Chase Racers 1-4. through four. And Jimmy Johnson, 10th, started from the on the pole. Paul Menard, 15th, not the way he wanted to start in his debut. Matt Kenseth, 11th. Clip Boyer 16th. This could really hurt his chase, his chase hopes here now. Just two races to go. Greg Biffle is the points leader. We're really tight up in the top four. Biffle, Kozlowski, Hamlin, and Edwards all within four points of each other. Clint Boyer has some work to do next week at Talladega, where a track that he's been historically good at, but he still is going to have 18 points on Greg Biffle to catch up. The three new guys, Newman, Menard, and Truex, having only decent runs today. Truex and Menard get taken out in the same crash. Casey Kane falls the last in the points.